<laughs> Welcome back guys. So supposedly you are buying an order, okay? You are placing a buy for USDJPY. You're like, okay, nice buy, okay, based on your analysis and based on your strategy, amazing buy, okay? But now is the question, where should you take profit, okay? And where should you place your stop loss, okay? SL. And so this, this video, this is exactly what we're gonna discuss, guys. So take profit and stop loss levels for your buy trades, for your buy orders, for going long. What's up guys? So stay tuned guys. So guys, going long means buying. Going short means selling. Yes guys, I still have many people who email me these questions nearly every single day. And I have to answer you the same answer. You know, I can give you the same answer. Anyway guys, so make sure you watch this video until the end and make sure you let me know if you want me to make the same video but for sale orders. And so where to put the take profit and where to put the stop loss, you know, it doesn't matter, okay, if you, what, you know, it doesn't matter, guys, what time frame do you use, okay, by look, asking what's the correct time frame is not even appropriate question when you talk about take profit or stop loss level, we all know, guys, that TP and SL should be only, you should be only using bigger time frames, which ones, we can talk about them right now. But I think the best, also the best way to explain all this is better on my live stream videos. So guys, I, I really want to get back to my live streams because on live streams I think it's much more valuable. Yes, and so let's, let's so how do we do it, okay? So we're gonna use, so first things first, first things first, we of course, the first thing that we do is we, we go to a daily chart and we got four hour charts. And let me do this quickly, okay? So on a daily, what do we see? Daily candles, right here, okay, support, support corridor. And then we see the resistance here and the resistance corridor. So for support resistance, I play, uh, we are taking into consideration the bodies and the spikes on a daily. I showed you this in my earlier videos. If you need help for, for placing your support resistance, you know you can play. You can you know you can also use Fibonacci retracement. You know, click on Fibonacci retracement and place it from the left to the right, from the highest to the lowest point, like I showed you in my previous videos as well. Uh, yeah, so that's the first thing, first step done, right? Support resistance, okay? Now let me, uh, let's go to the smaller time frame, so, uh, which is a four hour time frame, and so you look at four, time, four hour time frame, you can see that, uh, here we go, we can push our support a little bit lower, okay? See? Because we don't really want to put support, like, in between the, in between, in, like in the middle of the candlesticks, we don't want to do that, we want to place them on the bottom of the candlesticks, because that's our support, right? So push a little bit more down. You will not be able to see that on a daily chart. That's why we break down our time frames so that we can adjust, you know, we can adjust our support distance to be more specific, okay? Because when we are more specific, we are getting the better, best entries and best exits. That's when it comes to take profit and stop loss. So, okay, four hour, nice. I want to actually take a look at one hour, okay? Then let's now, then third step, let's look at one hour and one hour, we can beautifully see that. <laughs> I was, I, I should have placed my buy trade here one hour ago and I, so, and I should take my profit uh, at the next support. Oh, sorry, sorry, at next resistance. So this is something I was, I was, I was talking about in my previous video. So for your buy trades, okay. okay so I really don't want to guys confuse you because I feel that so many of you are confused. For your buy trades, this is like a rule book. I am all day, always the same, always the same, okay, always the same. For your buy trades, your take profit should be little below next major resistance. What the hell is next major resistance? Well, it's a four hour time frame and one and a daily time frame. Put your resistance on a, four, on a daily and put your resistance on a four hour time frame. That's your major resistance. So, your, uh, your, your take profit level should be a little bit below that. And stop loss should be a little below next support. If I was going to buy, if I was going to uh, enter this buy trade, okay. If I was going to enter this buy, let me use this tool uh, for going long, okay. Long position, okay. Long position. So if I was going to buy, as I told you here, because this is my this is my support touched, and I knew that if the price is going to touch this, the price should go up, okay. Let's so let's click here. So if I was going to buy uh, the USD JPY at this point, 
Uh, my take profit, sh my take profit would be a little bit below the next resistance. Where is my next resistance? The next line, the next pivot line, this line. Because that was our resistance when we did our technical analysis on our daily and four-hour time frame. We use daily and we use four-hour time frames mostly only to to place our major support resistance lines. This is what we did. And this is and this is what it is. So I know that uh, if I place my buy trade uh, here, here at the open, okay, uh, I should exit it and I, t I should take my profit below this line, which is my resistance line. So I should take my profit at uh, let's take a look at candlesticks. So I really don't want so uh, below resistance, okay? Why below resistance, guys? Because if the price goes up here, you make profit, it may make profit, okay, nice. But then, you know, whenever it reaches these candlesticks, you know, the, the spikes, you know, the, sp the spikes or the bodies, you know, it could quickly, boom, boom, go back down and you make loss. And you will lose your profits and you're gonna blow your position up and you, and you can actually blow your account up. You know, it depends what broker you use and what leverage and all that, of course. But be realistic on what you're doing. That's why we need to take profit below that. Below that, where should be below that? What, well, yeah. What it means, little bit below that. Little bit below the next resistance. So your, 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 your profit target should be here. 107.662, TP, nice. Let me place it, let me place it here. So risk to reward ratio. Uh, well, my advice would be, guys, if you want to use this uh, long and short tool on trading, you put it, you know, place, uh, place five percent. However, guys, I am using this demonstration purposes. So, uh, one oh seven six six two. So TP one oh seven six six two. Boom. Uh, nice. So that's our take profit level. Uh, and so this is the open take profit and now the stop loss. Yes, we are stop loss. Again, stop loss we use the same principle all of the time. Let's go back. Let's go back to the boring writing. I really love, you know, I'm really bored to read. I don't like reading much, you know. Um, so even, you know, so the stop loss, the stop loss should be a little below next support. Why next support? So where is our next support? Our next support is is here, based on our four-hour and daily time frame. So what's gonna happen is that we know that if the price, this is our entry open for open. This open is our entry point for our buy trade. This is our take profit. Now what's gonna happen if the price goes down? If the price goes down after our entry point from our buy trade, of course we will make losses because the, pr the, the price is going against our open position. And, and so where should we tell the uh, tell the trade? Where should we tell tell it to? That's it. Stop it. And I'm leaving the trade, and I don't want to trade that trade again. Okay. So if the price goes down, we make loss. We know that if the trade goes down and hits the next ne hits next support, which is this line, then the price will go back up and we will make profits. But we know that if the price breaks that support, what's gonna happen? Yes, if the if the price is gonna break that support, meaning that the the support is always broken only when we see new four-hour candlestick. Or in this case, one hour candlestick opening below our support. Meaning that our support is broken. And if the support is broken, it will mean that the price will continue to go down. So we need to make sure that our stop loss is only below okay, our support. Because if it's below support, we're going to see a new candlestick opening. And only if the new candlestick is opening below support, Price will go back down. Otherwise, you can just bounce a little bit here and go back up, right? Right. So that's the that's the whole thing about this. Okay. Yeah, and this is as simple as it is. Yes, guys. Yes, there are no there is no other magic. Okay. I can just sit there, you know. I make I can make these videos like all day long. It's actually getting boring to be honest. That's why I want to jump back on my live streams because when I'm on live streams, it's much more interesting, you know, more more fun. You know, you are challenging. I really want to be challenged in this stage. But uh, yeah, so let me just uh, adjust my stop loss. So, so my stop loss should be 107, 
294, 294, 297, okay, that's micro pips, doesn't matter, okay? And here we go, boom. Nice, yeah. So that's how you can do it, guys, on uh, on any major forex currency pairs. Make sure that you know what, what you're doing. And guys, if you need help in trading, you're always welcome to email me at incommentorbox at gmail.com. Trade safely, trade responsibly, uh, visit my website and get, get your free ebook. And if you need help in trading, you're always welcome, guys, to contact me. Thank you for watching this video and see you guys again next time. Bye bye.